Babylon the Great, what, when, where, and who? Number 1. When does Babylon the Great exist? Babylon began as a small town in ancient Mesopotamia around 2300 BC. From 1894 to 539 BC, Babylon expanded into Babylonia, a small country occupying the space we now refer to as modern-day Iraq. The last half of that period, Babylon became the Neo-Babylonian Empire, which occupied all of the land that we now recognize as Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Israel, part of Egypt, and part of Saudi Arabia. This was ancient Babylon, the first beast in Daniel 7, but it was not Babylon the Great. Revelation 17, 7-11 provides a riddle that explains the mystery of Babylon the Great and the beast that carries it. Once we understand who the beast is here, then we can identify when Babylon the Great exists. Revelation 17, 3-5 tells us Babylon the Great sits on the beast, and verse 11 says the beast is the eighth king. If Babylon the Great sits on the beast, and the beast is the eighth king, then Babylon the Great sits on the eighth king. This riddle was solved and explained in the previous video on the beast. The eighth king is the United Nations. So Babylon the Great does not refer to ancient Babylon. It refers to something that didn't exist until the rise of the eighth king. It did not exist until the rise of the United Nations in 1945. Number 2. Where is Babylon the Great? Revelation 17.3 says that Babylon the Great sits on the beast with seven heads and ten horns. Revelation 13, 1 and 2 tells us this beast is made up of Daniel's four beasts, and Daniel 7:23 tells us that this final beast will devour the whole earth. So if Babylon the Great sits on this final beast, and the final beast devours the whole earth, then Babylon the Great sits on the whole earth. This is confirmed in Jeremiah 25:33, where it says that when Babylon is destroyed, the slain will lie from one end of the earth to the other. This is also confirmed in Jeremiah 50, 29-32, where it says that Babylon is not just one city, but consists of multiple cities. Revelation 17, 9 says that Babylon the Great sits on seven mountains, which are the seven continents covering the whole earth. The seventh continent of the beast, Antarctica, was acquired in 1959 with the establishment of the Antarctic Treaty System. The symbol on Antarctica's flag matches the flag of the United Nations, confirming that it is one of the seven heads of the beast, the seven mountains that Babylon sits on. So Babylon the Great is sitting on the whole earth, and more specifically, all seven continents. Number 3. What or who is Babylon the Great? Revelation 17.1 says that Babylon the Great is the great whore. A whore or harlot in the Bible refers to a group of God's people who begin worshiping false gods. This is evident in Exodus 34, 14 through 17 and Judges 2, 17, where it says that Israel went a whoring after other gods. So Babylon the Great is a group of God's people who worship false gods. And Revelation 17, 2 says they have made the whole earth drunk with this worship. In addition, Revelation 18.7 says Babylon the Great says in her heart she is a queen and not a widow. A queen is defined by Merriam-Webster as the wife or widow of a king, and a widow is defined as a woman who has lost her spouse by death and has not remarried. So Babylon the Great is a group of God's people who worship false gods, who have made the whole earth worship their false gods as well, who say in their heart that they are married to a king and that king is not dead. In Revelation 17 verse 1, it says Babylon the Great sits upon many waters. The waters, it says in verse 15, are peoples, multitudes, nations, and languages. So Babylon the Great sits on many people of different nationalities and languages. If Babylon sits on the beast, and it also sits on people, then that means it sits on the people of the beast. The people of the beast are the people who worship the beast. This is explained in Revelation 17 verse 8. The people of the earth shall wonder when they behold the beast. This is a reference to chapter 13 verses 3 and 4, where it says all the world wondered after the beast and worshipped the beast. So Babylon sits on the people of the beast, who are the people who worship the beast. In the previous video, we examined who the beast is. To watch that video, click the upper right corner of this video. The beast includes all of the empires since ancient Babylon, but Hosea 13 is also clear that Yahweh is the beast and Deuteronomy 32 explains that this is because the first beast, ancient Babylon, published the name Yahweh, 
in order to cause the people to follow Babylon's doctrine. In other words, Yahweh is not only the final beast, it is a false god created by Babylon. This means the people who worship the beast include those who worship Yahweh. Yahweh is known as the God of Abraham throughout the Bible, and there are three religions who worship the God of Abraham. These are the Abrahamic religions of Judaism, Islam, and Christianity. The Bible says Yahweh is the beast, and Yahweh is the God of Abraham. Therefore, those who worship the beast are the Abrahamic religions. Babylon sits on the beast who devours the whole earth. It sits on seven mountains, which are the seven continents, and it sits on the people who worship the beast, the Abrahamic religions, which cover all seven continents. Revelation 17, 4-6 adds that Babylon is dressed in purple and scarlet, holds a golden cup in its hand, and is drunk on the blood of the saints and the martyrs of Jesus. This refers particularly to the religious clergy, which began under Constantine during the Roman Empire. The religion of Christianity currently has many denominations, which represent the falling away that started in 1517. But all of the denominations are based upon a foundation doctrine that was set forth by the church clergy of the Roman Empire, who currently reside in Vatican City. In 1962, the Second Vatican Council set forth a plan to unify not only all Christian denominations, but all the Abrahamic religions, including Jews and Muslims, under one leadership, the Vatican. However, the foundation of this leadership had already been set. The basic doctrine of both Christianity and Islam originated with the Catholic Church. This is evident with the decoding of Daniel 11, and the majority of Jews recently came under the leadership of the little horn of the beast, Israel. This clergy of the beast leadership literally wear scarlet and purple robes, hold a golden cup in their hand, and gain their power and riches through the murder and persecution of millions. So Babylon the Great is a religious system that worships false gods, including Yahweh, the beast, who have made the whole earth worship these false gods as well, who glorify themselves and say in their heart that they are the wife of the king, and their king is not dead. This is the religious system headed by the ancient clergy of the beast, who sit on the Abrahamic religions of Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. This religious system believes, at its core, that it is the bride of God and God is not dead. A bride is defined as a woman just married or about to be married, and more specifically, a woman on her wedding day or just before and after the event. The Bible says the marriage will occur in heaven when the stars fall and the fire and brimstone rain down. Since the wedding has not happened yet, this means the individuals that make up the bride have not yet been revealed by God. Luke 21.36 advises us to pray to be accounted worthy to escape, but Luke 14.7-11 and Isaiah 10.15 warn us not to assume that we are worthy. Revelation 18.4 warns us to come out of Babylon so we do not receive the plagues. There is more proof for the identity of Babylon the Great in the next video covering the two witnesses and how Babylon will be destroyed. For more on recent fulfillments of Bible prophecy, please see the playlist linked at the end of this video. Thank you so much to those who make this work possible. If this video helped you, please consider providing support using the link below or at indigoflower.net. I hope you're doing well and I'll talk to you next week.